Hey guys, I'm interested in wireless networking because I was just thinking I might be in a desert island or something. And uh, today I'm just going to introduce you to a company in Singapore called Allegas Network, Shogun, who's like the microchip dude. So he also distributes Ubiquiti hardware and bought my Ubiquiti stuff from him. And here we're just unboxing a new air fiber 60 gigahertz thing. For Microtech, uh, what they want is uh, affordable products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cutting, and, yes, and, this, and this costs money, I guess. Yes, yes. So, so that's what they want. So can you show me without breaking the box? Not really. You have uh, to break the box. For you, I can break the box. Okay, thanks. Okay? <laughs> thanks, for, I'm not buying it though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll charge you. <laughs> so LR means long range, right? Long range, yes. So this one's up to 12 kilometers. Uh, yep, actually, uh, this is the maximum distance. Okay. Because when you reach at 12 kilometers, I am not sure what kind of performance that you'll be getting. Uh, because uh, for 60 gigahertz, usually it's high bandwidth, high performance, but short distance. Oh, this is nice. Put it. Oh my gosh, look at this packaging. What kind of customers buy this thing? Is it like some island getting connected uh, okay. or is it or is it like uh usually it's the ISP, the service provider. Okay, so you don't you don't even know who the how it's normal deployed. user doesn't use this. So okay. This it's like really like like port like so what's the idea with these little dots? Is that like a metal thing? It feels like, uh, like, a, like a metal mesh, right? It's a reflector. So basically, I think they are trying to reduce the wind. Um, okay. Pressure. But yet, they still want to get a good uh, signal. Nice mounts. I won't take it out of the box. But I can't help but think white is going to look bad in, in this UV, in, this, in these harsh conditions out in Southeast Asia. You don't think so? It's gonna look. It's, well, gonna, look, it's gonna turn brown. Uh, yes, over the time you turn yellowish, but still, I think um, in Asia, more important is the performance and the usage, not the how it functionality looks like. basically. That feels so strange. So this is a, a big ass radio or something. Uh, it feels yeah. like quite heavy actually, yes. because it's, it, it will get hot, very hot. And this, what is this uh, uh, blue thing? Mean? Is it just? A, it's just the color. It's just a, no, no, it doesn't no, no. mean anything. No, this is actually the hissing. So it's just to extrude heat, yeah. this, this whole, like, whatever design. Huh. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, I guess this is where the network cable goes in. Yeah. Ah, of course. PoE in. How does the, the mounting differ between Ubiquiti and Microtech? Uh, okay, Ubiquiti, it comes with the products. Uh, for Microtech, you have so, to get your own one. Uh, it comes with it, but there is a standard mounting. They do have a high precision mounting that you can purchase separately. But for Ubiquiti, there's no such thing. Everything is just specifically included. So it's a high precision or out the box? I'm, or would you, or would you, I don't would, think is this it, is a high precision. <laughs> oh, really? But it just works, is it? So it's good enough to do the job. So Microtech, you have aftermarket choices, I guess. Uh, yes, it depends on the installer, how you are actually to, to do that. Because what they want is that it's affordable. So with a very, it doesn't, it doesn't help your pocket when you run mm. to try to get the products. So, oh yeah, um, yeah, back to Microtech products. So this is a 60 gigahertz point to point. Cool, I like it. Um, so it's, hey, it's really light. Has it got something inside it? This is really light. Wait a minute, that one's so heavy and this one's so light. This is shorter distance. Is that the best, ba that's the best band right now for point to point length, 60G? Yes, but for short distance, because of uh, 60 gigahertz, the oxygen attenuation problem. So um, it can't go far. But 12K is, I mean, <laughs> In practice, it's not so that, that, that product is quite unique at this moment. For 60 gigahertz, uh, going for for 5 gigahertz, we have a deployment that is about 45 kilometers. Oh, wow. Yeah, but the triple is small. Yeah. Mm. I can't help but think, I mean, most places are 10 clicks from one another, you know, in mean, Jesus. Oh, uh, you, you have to go out of Singapore. Exactly, exactly. <laughs>
Um, Thank you, Saragun, for showing some Microtech hardware. Welcome. I guess, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the Wi-Fi 6 device from you later this year. I'll let you know. Is there any, some, is there any product that you're particularly excited about in the next few weeks, months, or what have you? Uh, we will have the RB5009 coming, end of the month, hopefully. That's the route yeah. of, that's the... That's a, that's a, a, a new design of the router, the new architecture, Marvel mm. chip, totally Marvel chip. So, and why are you so excited? Because it's more powerful? Or? I will, well, I'm looking forward for the performance. Really? That pricing level. Do you, do you have customers who, who are hitting these performance, what do you call them? Bottlenecks or something? Yes, we are. And that thing would help, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna have to edit the crap out of this. <laughs> Hopefully you found this interesting. Please like the video. <laughs> See you, bye.